to my github um, accounts i think i need to sorry let me just make this installation Drupal installation Drupal installation it's fine yeah so you can just see it's Drupal installation .txt those are the file so what you do is that you just make a directory which I've already done in it you seed into the directory and then you run this uh, command here to get the current Drupal, which is Drupal 10, into your uh, folder, and you will be good. So we'll do that now. We're already in um, CD dash, dash. Let's see. Um. Okay. This directory is Drupal 10. Let's just pick it and go to Finder Services. You run on a new tab. So we're there. What we just do is clear your CD. You can decide to go that way. Um, clear this first. Make directly and then CD into it and then run this. So let's just do that. And let's make directly called Drupal inside of Drupal 10 and then we'll see it into Drupal and then the next thing we'll do is that we'll run this command in it so what this command will do it is almost same is going to go straight and pull out uh, most of our Drupal scripts into our folder and in that folder we can as well assess all the activities or um, command that are in the Drupal line. So once this is done, let's go. Let's uh, uh, list it and see what happens. You can see all our, our files are in here. You have the core, the core, the site, the team, all this. They are all here. So for that to happen, if you go to, to the directory just to confirm, we have Drupal 10, then we have Drupal. You can see everything is here. Also, your index of PHP is also here. So this is what runs it at first. So what we we'll do here, we we'll just go back to our, our code, our command here. We run the server on port 9000. You can run it on whatever port you want to run it. Um, then. When you start running it on port 9000, you can go straight, copy this, go to your browser and hit it up, enter. So when you do that, uh, your Drupal comes up. You can see we are straight to the installation of Drupal 10.0.1. Uh, English, depending on your language, you can select uh, whatever language you're on. And you click next, you click uh, next. I like standard uh, this thing. Then I already have uh, what's the database name? I think I name it Drupal 10. Yeah. Then the root is is root user, and then we have my password that I have here. I already have it saved. So just enter yours, and then click next. Uh, next. So if you have a different ports on it just click advanced to go into the port or the host if the different hosts let's assume you want to you're hosting it on uh postgres server in aws or DigitalOcean or wh whatever channel you click on it enter the port enter the um, host here and go straight to nest i'm running it on my local machine so it goes straight straight down down you can see the installation is going the installation is going and then it takes me to the site so you just say uh, Drupal 10 installation um, website so my email um, okay this is fine username I can just say um, Kinsley K -I -G -S -I -D -Y. Um, passwords 
Yeah, yes, anyway. So my password is here. Please, guys, um, you can see where we're on this. You can make sure you get to um, follow me on on GitHub. Please ensure you do that. So you get letters of my concern. You can see just um, ensure you follow me on GitHub to get more updates as it goes so uh back to it um we have the password aspect the email is there the country i'm actually in nigeria um then lagos yes then you can check email whatever this is is fine just click it and click send and wow we are in so let me save this so you can see you can see here congratulations you installed drupal already you can see all the settings you can go back to the um, menu management structure um, appearance team so in this part they actually took the this this thing came up as the default team which is the olivero whatever team was made default unlike the other one that we have and then this also is made like an admin team too if you want to use that so you have admin team which is caro you can see it here which really makes the design different from what we have in drupal 9 so when you go to appearance you go to extend all your modules we're going to treat all this and subsequent uh, lectures configuration everything looks very very clean here so content and the likes so when you do all this the same thing um, for it so this is for an installation for mac um two other things that i'm going to uh, take us through is your mysql in case you want to start your mysql on your local machine so you want to see the startup when you when you start you want to see the um, link to just start it up instead of going into the command line you can as well go to uh, this you can go here my SQL community community download so you can see it here I think this is it so um this loading so you can see it here download uh, mysql community i just put this also on my uh, gist this part installation of this let me add it to it so add it. so we have this on the mysql so so in case you want that can just do download so um, in case you want to do that you can go to this link and then you download uh, the mysql once you download it you run it i already have it on my uh, on my downloads i already have it on my downloads so it's pretty much straightforward you have so you go straight you can see say allow go to next 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 to the last point and then you are in so what the difference here is that by the time you come back to your application you can go to settings we have system settings you can see system settings underneath here you see my SQL. so you can come in here and then stop your service and start it whichever you initialize your databases or install uninstall it so it's always here where you want to use it so you just come to settings part and then you have your my SQL to run so there are two ways you can also set this up so you set your my SQL so set um, these parts up um okay that's it for now we'll have another session later on on another way to also set up drupal thank you very much first